Ray and I'm a dance instructor, choreographer, and performing artist um, from Philadelphia and I'm now based in the DC metro area. I began dancing when I was about five years old. Um, I know everybody says that, but it's true. <laughs> I started going to school with my sister, Brenda Lee Dance Studio, which is in uh, Mount Airy, or Germantown, Germantown, Philadelphia, and I've been dancing ever since. Um, from there, I decided I wanted to go to a performing arts high school. I did that, and I went to performing arts college, and dance has been with me every step of the way since. Radiant Movement is uh, First My Baby project that I started last year, 2011, and it is a traveling workshop where I teach classes in both the DC metro area and Philadelphia, and um, I'm teaching both dance hall and modern dance and also jazz dance. with the name it sounds like it's Zumba it's not Zumba <laughs> it's definitely um, a dance technique based out of the Caribbean Jamaica first of all I've been in love with Caribbean culture since I can remember seeing like the first video I think it was uh, a song I don't know <laughs> Shakademia and the Flyers I don't you can google it <laughs> and see but I saw the video and I saw the movement and I just I just fell in love with it. I just wanted to try it and I started um, learning the movements from television first and then because of the street dance and it's a party dance, you see it um, less in a classroom, more at public events. So I would attend some of those events and um, from there over the years it's always been a club thing. As I got older, I talked about it with family or friends, and like, oh, you should really have a class in that. And I'm like, I don't know, but I love it, so why not share it? And most people, once they know what it is and take the class, they're really excited about it. So radio movement, in that sense, is my passion for Caribbean dance, trying to um, expose it to other people that are interested as well. Um, I've been coming since about September. I found out about it through a friend who we take the dance classes together. She's like, you would love this. that knowledge to us and so it's great to just come in like soak it up. Dance Hall began to spread to um, other countries outside of Jamaica through um, the music of course. Dance Hall is, is the music. It's the style of music because um, you have reggae and you have Dance Hall. Reggae is more like what people consider with Bob Marley. It's associated with reggae and Dance Hall is more like uh, Beanie Man or Capleton or those artists. Um, music. You had one in particular person um, Gerald Levy, who is Mr. Wacky Bogle, um, that dance, you know, Bogle. <laughs> so he began to travel with popular artists like Beanie Man and Elephant Man. And with that, people saw the, his style of dance and wanted to mimic it. And, you know, over time, the dancers um, in Jamaica also began forming their own different styles, and that began to you know, inspire other DJs or um, dance hall music artists, and it just began to grow as a as a, a dance style or a, or a technique behind it. It started to form at that point because it's starting to grow so much with people in Jamaica, and then they're getting to travel uh, with artists to show that the different dances that they have that match these songs. And then uh, dance hall, there's a new dance like every day. There's a new dance, and it's something as simple as you know snapping your finger, you know, um, but because it's a stylized snap, it's not like, <laughs> it's a stylized snap, and so it becomes, you know, a dance. Um, it's just that simple. And I'm trying to, radiant movement through my classes, I'm trying to get it more so noticed in our community, in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, Philadelphia, and, and yeah, and, and black, in black dance as well. Um, 
because that's what it is. It, it is a black dance, it is a street dance, just as hip hop is a street dance, and it came from, you know, also music as well, um, from hip hop music. So it's like the same type of thing, and I think that is an interesting number one combination. And I think that's something that people should, you know, definitely try to recognize. Now, I'm not abandoning my, my modern roots and my ballet, and I'm not abandoning that at all. I'm also still trying to combine those. Um, my goal is basically to share dance with everyone and anyone that's interested, whether it be a beginner dancer, whether it be an experienced dancer. Um, just sharing my knowledge of dance and how I've embraced it in myself, like I've, through learning techniques such as Horton and, and Graham Technique and more, I've been able to also develop my own style of dance, which is more seen in my choreography, so just being able to share what I've learned with other people is very important to me. And that's what we're trying to do with Radiant Movement. And again, the same thing with the dance hall, just teaching people and others what I've learned and sharing that fun and, and that energy with everyone else. And also just ex exposing people to the technical side of dance. Because yes, something like dance hall may not come off as, oh, you know, a technical dance. There is technique behind it and there is history behind it and I think it should be shared with everyone.